Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, the spectacular brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today we'll be talking about the brand new Newton Isaac. The Newton Isaac coming out in fall of 2023 is unlike any Newton shoe that I've ever run in and I promise unlike any Newton shoe you've ever run in. I'm actually wearing my Newton shirt today and I felt like a dork wearing it, sort of like wearing the shirt of the band you're gonna go see in concert. Like that's sort of how I feel today pulling this look off. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I am a really big Newton fan and I was so excited to try this because it's completely unique to the brand Newton. To me, this shoe is sort of a hybrid of two other popular shoes. But here's my hint, one of them is not a Newton shoe. So we're gonna talk about the weight, what makes this shoe so unique, and where you might wanna use this shoe down the road. So let's get into some of the nitty gritty details about the new Newton Isaac. This shoe weighing in at 9.2 ounces on the men and 7.8 ounces on the women. This has a eight millimeter drop, which is so different from any other Newton shoe. Its high point is 29 millimeters and it drops down to 21 millimeters of stack height. This also features a full length p plate, something very different from something Newton has done in the past. It also features their Newtonium and foam blend sitting atop a rockered midsole. Obviously, one of the biggest, craziest things about this shoe is the eight millimeter drop. If you've been with Newton for a long time and you've run in shoes like the distance, the motion, the gravity, the fate, the kismet, what have you, you're talking about a one millimeter, a one and a half, a three millimeter, very low drop shoes. This shoe looks nothing like any other Newton. Sure, it has their patented Newton lugs across the forefoot, but look at the size of this heel. Look at this drop this shoe has. This is so different from that real minimal drop that we're so accustomed to. So what they did with this shoe is they wanted to try to make a shoe that was a little more approachable for the average consumer to get into. Because let's be honest, if you come into a shop like mine or another shop that has Newton on the wall and you pick up a shoe like a Fate, this looks very different from other stuff you might see on the wall. It has obviously a very low drop. It obviously, the lugs are so out there. You can really see the pop that this shoe has. It just looks like something that you're not accustomed to. They wanted to find a way to make a shoe that was Newton-like, but something that somebody could pick up and say, I kind of know what this shoe might feel like, but what are these little lugs to the forefoot? I know what the rest of this shoe should feel like, but I don't know what this feels like. So they tried to take an everyday trainer and mix it with a Newton. So to me, it's sort of like, I hate picking up another brand here, but it's like a Brooks Ghost mixed with a Newton. We sort of combined those two shoes and what came out of it was the Isaac. I was really intrigued to try this because I've run in so many Newton shoes over the year and it's a brand that we've really just had such a soft spot in the store because I like that they're always doing stuff different. I like that they do things their own way. So at first I was a little like, well now we're kind of taking stuff that's really not your shoe and making it a blend of something else that is your shoe. So this shoe, when I was running in it, it almost felt like a Brooks Ghost when I first started. And I gotta be honest, I wasn't that impressed the first little bit I was running in it. I took this shoe to a track and did a five mile progression run. So I kind of started off at half marathon pace and just wound it up until my last mile was like 5K pace. And those first couple laps, when it was more like a Brooks Ghost, it just felt like a Brooks Ghost. I was a little underwhelmed because I felt like with this midsole material that it was gonna feel a little more responsive, but it just felt like, quite honestly, a comfortable daily trainer, nothing too spectacular. But as my form changed and as I got a little bit faster into my run, I felt myself popping up on my forefoot a little bit more, I could really feel the Newtonness to the shoe. So like, it feels like you have a shoe that's a normal traditional shoe and you're landing more on your midfoot or a little more on your heel. But as you're transitioning more towards your forefoot, those lugs become more apparent. I noticed myself running on the track that my stride was getting longer. I could see in the shadow that I was just sort of eating up more track with every stride and the shoe felt more performancey. I, in my head, I was thinking about those kids who walk around the mall with like the wheelie on their shoe. You know, that's like a, it's like a shoe, but it's also like a, a, a rollerblade heel to it and they just kind of slide along. That's how I felt this shoe was. Like depending on where I was stepping in it, I was using the shoe in two different ways. It is a true road performance hybrid shoe. We've seen that with like a road trail hybrid, but I've never run in like a road shoe that was like a trainer, almost performance shoe, depending on where you're stepping in the shoe. Really fun and unique. Heavier than a normal Newton shoe. It feels a little more four foot weighted, but a comfortable, interesting, creative shoe coming out of Newton that I think will make it more easy for people to get into this brand that have never run in a Newton before, but have been really curious to feel what those lugs are gonna feel like underfoot. 
I was surprised at how much I liked the shoe. I was surprised at the way that it felt. I liked the fit. I liked the concoction of the two blends of the shoe. So if you're interested for $140, it's a great way to get somebody into the brand that's not accustomed to it. Or if you're somebody who's been a Newton fan, but just feels like there are runs where you don't wanna feel that apparent lug, that you don't wanna feel that ledge where the lugs set out on every single run, this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the new Newton Isaac. If you wanted to purchase this fine product, we have a link down below. And if you enter promo code RUNMORE, you'll save 10% and we'll ship it out for free. If you found this enjoyable and exciting, please give us a like and subscribe. It certainly helps us find new people out there in the interwebs. And if you have questions on this fine model, just leave it down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as we can. Hey, if you find yourself in the greater Westminster, Maryland area, stop on by and say hello. Check out the Isaac or any other fun shoes that we have on our wall. Stop by and join us for a group run while you're at it too. Happy running. Hope to see you around Westminster. Stay safe out there, everybody.